Hi and welcome to the session. Let's discuss the following question. It says, using number line, write the integer which is 3 more than 5, 5 more than minus 5, 6 less than 2 and 3 less than minus 2. So let us first understand the basic approach to this problem. If we have to find an integer m more than n, then you move right on the number line. And if you have to find an integer m less than n, then move left on the number line. So this is the key idea to solve this problem. Let's now move on to the solution. We have to find an integer 3 more than 5. So let us first draw the number line. Now we know that 0 lies in the mid of number line and all the positive integers are on the right side of 0 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the negative integers are on the left side of 0 that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. Now, we have to find an integer which is 3 more than 5. So, here is 5 and we have to find an integer 3 more than 5. Now, as we discussed in the key idea, we have to move in the right. So, in this direction, we have to move 3 points more than 5. So, it is 1, 2, 3. So, this is the point where we reach that is we reach at 8 so our answer is 8 let's now move on to the B part we have to find an integer 5 more than minus 5 so let's first draw the number line so this is the number line and we have to find an integer 5 more than minus 5. So by the key idea we have to move right on the number line. And we have to move 5 points more than minus 5. So 5 points more than means 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is the point where we reach. That is we reach at 0. Hence our answer is 0. Let's now come to the C part. We have to find an integer 6 less than 2. So let's draw the number line. So this is the number line and we have to find an integer 6 less than 2. So by the key idea if we have to find an integer m less than n then we have to move left on the number line. So we have to move left on the number line and we have to move 6 less than 2. So we move on the left 6 points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we reach at minus 4. That is the integer is minus 4 and hence our answer is minus 4. Right? Let's move on to the D part. We have to find an integer 3 less than minus 2. So let's draw the number line. Now we have to obtain an integer 3 less than minus 2. So we have to move 
left. And we have to move three points. So one, two, three. So this is the point where we reach. That is minus 5. So the answer is minus 5. Hence the answer to the A part is 8 and B part has 0 and C has minus 4 and D part has answer minus 5. So this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the session.